Aloha, suns and waters. As soon as I sat down and I cleared the space and I hit record, Lama Ku already flew off and wanted to show his face. And I was already thinking that when I start off, I'm going to tap into the breath. I'm going to pull a mana card, getting back to the basics of how we first started this off. And here he is, holding his torch of victory, of determination. I'm hearing ready, willing, and able. This man is strong. Your masculine energy. is fully in alignment with your feminine energy and I'm loving it look at his heart it's like oh my gosh I'm seeing so much contentment joy love of self here before we start off let's connect to our breath picturing a light going down our spine as we feel our cause letting our cause rise not our chest Awakening the dormant spaces within the mind, allowing the blood to flow into spaces they haven't been for a very long time. When we, when we release, we're going to release with the buzz of the bees to tap into that internal medicine. Calling them home, allowing them to pollinate, allowing us to bloom. Here we go. The vibration of my teeth while I was doing that was so strong. Like, I just had to literally stop and share it right away. It's giving me the vibes, once again, of the Morse code. So somebody's definitely trying to communicate in a different way than they're used to. I have to pause this. Well, give me, give me, give me, give me a second. Okay, let's read Lama Cool. While I have a little bit of time, this is the Torch of Wisdom. Lamaku o na'awau. O ka na'awau. Okay. I'm just going to read the interpretation. Lamaku symbolizes the victory of joy over all obstacles that diminish the wisdom of enlightenment. Anything that keeps you from experiencing unlimited vision and well-being is an obstacle including the desire for material gain or spiritual progress. Bray emphasized the importance of balance regarding even the spiritual practice. He said that when people are only spiritual, they may become impractical. When they are only materialistic, they may become weak, losing both health and wealth. Lamaku encourages you to celebrate the material world without clinging to it. To it. Oh, shit. Develop your spirituality without losing touch with the physical and natural worlds. This will facilitate a state of balance that allows your inner light or kukui to flow through your pu'uvai heart. Transforming personal, biological, emotional, and mental energies into universal love energy. This love energy manifests in a life of service guided by true wisdom, prophetic speech, and healing power. Become awakened and fully conscious by paying close attention to all things, ideas, or persons that seem to pull you off balance or trap you into extreme negative or positive emotional states. Approach all obstacles with a broken heart. And surely... surely you shall be victorious. Okay. So be paying close attention. I'm getting the vibes of someone stripping away the layers. Stripping away the layers of self. Yeah, I'm seeing this as like a huge layer. Something really heavy. But it's being stripped away. Look at that. And you're holding your torch. And there's someone beside you, near you, on your mind, coming towards you, that's also holding their torch as well. You guys are both... Uh, what's the word? 
coming into balance with the material and spiritual world. I'm just going to get a few out and then close this off. I know it's been a while since I tapped in, but we're here. Let him sit down with you. Oh, he wants to sit down with you. Alright, my bad. Let's get just a few. Thank you. You gave it to the birdie? Yay. Oh my gosh, you got owie. You got a cut? You don't have a cut. You just want to be by your sissy, huh? Okay. Okay. It's okay. Let me see. My bad. I don't think it's pause. Yeah. Okay. Somebody. That's stripping away the layers. And they're walking away from something that was really important to them in the past. But it's like wherever they were, whatever this was, it was something that kept someone held down, kept layers on them, kept them... really closed off, really covered up, really conservative. And I feel like somebody's starting to get naked. Be in their raw form, their raw energy. Showing who they truly are, tapping into their creativity, their artistic abilities. And that allows someone to release the layers that was holding them back. Yeah, walking away from things that no longer serve you, walking away from things that you previously were emotionally invested in. And, and look at that. That creativity is allowing someone to tap into their inner child. And that inner child is the very one that we need to bring about these manifestations it's wet yeah you want to wet it you want to turn the water on okay can you turn the water on right there thank you yeah doing that it's like allowing someone to become really tapped into their purest essence, their creativity, someone that makes shit happen, someone that's really ambitious, someone that has all of these things that they want to manifest and they go after it. They work hard to get towards their goals. They don't just sit around and wait for someone to bring it to them. They're listening to the cause of the ancestors and they're going out and getting it. Babes, can you turn it a little bit down? Thank you. This is giving me heavy portal energy, so I feel like something's going on with the planets that's creating this opening. Like, whatever idea you have on your mind, do it. Whether if it's in career or expressing your love expressing how you're no longer emotionally fulfilled whatever this is even tapping into yourself it's like it's a perfect time to do it and i do feel that somebody's going to be getting everything they ever wanted look at that we have the three goddesses here i'm feeling Mother, maiden, and crone energy. Someone's really tapped into their feminine energy at this time. But somebody has to take action. 
because these ideas that you have, this love that you're feeling, I'm hearing stamina, it, it needs more stamina, like more acting on it. Taking action. Yeah, somebody's definitely getting a pay raise. So, you know, start to... I know, it's so like... Oh my gosh, the energies keep getting cut off. Oh gosh, see, look at that. Shit flying off the table. The energies keep getting cut off. Somebody may be... Stepping more into their entrepreneur energy. What's this portal bringing, spirit? What's this portal bringing? Let's just hear it from them. There's a lot of shit going off the table, though. Big changes. Big moves being made. Allowing your inner child to get carried away with these ideas. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Anchoring yourself in a new reality. And you definitely need your inner child in this one right i'm seeing like you know somebody could have as a child or even right now had people tell them not to get carried away with these dreams these goals the person that you're craving for the person that you're walking away from whatever it is it's like yes be fearless somebody's definitely needing to cut cords so be fearless in this and we have Mars and Aries, master of action. That's you taking action, grounding yourself in these ideas, putting in the work. Putting in the work. Right? Creating a plan, respecting that plan. And that's, look at that, finishing what you start. It's like you, you created it in your mind. Now it's applying it. Yeah, knowledge ain't shit until it's applied rewire your brain so this energy right here you're rewiring your brain look at that more heavenly thoughts more heavenly thoughts we have antarctica here you could be learning about antarctica or i'm seeing even like penguin energy i'm seeing staying warm you know like you know if you was to go to somewhere where it's snowing you make sure you got your jacket on, your your hoodie, your gloves, your socks, whatever it is. So make sure you have that same that same type of comfort for your spiritual side as well. Like when when you start to feel cold, when people around you start to feel cold, make sure you have that cloak of protection. Yeah, because if you don't that new reality that you're anchoring yourself in, you could get thrown off course because you could get thrown off course. What was I just talking about before this? I can't remember what I was just talking about. But yeah, that cloak of protection, when people start to get cold, when people start to get jealous, there could be some jealous energy around you. And, you know, make sure you have that comfort just as you would when you're out in the snow. Whatever that comfort is to you, if it's music, if it's dancing, if it's positive affirmations, you know, make sure you have all of that with you. Vacation, that could even be what it is to make sure you're taking, you know, breaks, you're going out in nature, you're allowing yourself to... adventure and explore look at vacation desperate travel somebody's desperate for a vacation someone's desperate for a break i'm hearing this break could be long overdue i'm even seeing a vacation from wow somebody could definitely be traveling i'm seeing japan and africa so maybe it's like a different type of vacation, a whole new destination, doing it differently. It's cold. Oh, yeah. Cold. Yeah, moving away from, like, even if you're living in a place where it's cold, maybe moving to 
traveling to a warmer place look at that let your light shine but that's also you letting your light shine right when things get cold you have that light within you to warm yourself up to even warm up the most coldest hearts your passed on loved ones are proud of you dis-ease displeased so if somebody's feeling dis-ease within the body someone's feeling like dis-ease I'm seeing it's because the spirits are displeased or you're just feeling displeased. But just know that your ancestors are proud of you, but they want you to move forward. They want to make sure that you're protected and you're, you're knowing how lucky you are. And they're actually seeing how lucky they are to have you as well as someone that they can watch over. They're so proud of you right now. Isis and Osiris, wow. They could be, they could be. They're watching over you as well and they're so proud. I'm seeing you have some of their energy within you. And so hold yourself to the highest standard. But get out there. Okay, I know. There's a lot of noise, but we did it. I love you all. Aloha.